what are the different avenues we have to actually run and test our code? Well, the first one is we have the emulator. The emulator comes with Android Studio and the SDK, and it's pretty slow and sluggish, but it, it comes already installed and raring to go and allows you to customize and simulate different phones. The second avenue we have is an actual physical device. Uh, now, devices are incredibly accurate. I mean, you're actually running the code on a physical phone. The problem here is that can get pretty expensive, especially if you want to test on 100 devices, because Android runs on so many different types. Your third option is to try something called Motion. Gany Motion is my particular favorite because it doesn't just emulate a phone, it actually turns your computer into a really powerful phone. So it's incredibly fast, faster than even running on a device. It's also, like an emulator, very cheap. You can just go through as many different devices as you want and simulate them and test things out without having to purchase a whole new piece of hardware. So professionals in general use whatever they particularly prefer. I tend to find that if I have a bug on a very particular device, I will actually test it on a device. But at this point, I no longer use an emulator at all. So why Gany Motion? Well, to start off with, you have the ability, to, rather than having to configure the emulator, to actually go and connect to them and just download different pre-made devices already. Uh, many of these are common ones. Um, you can also customize them, but it's much easier just to download exactly what you want, rather than have to set it up yourself. Um, once you actually have a particular phone running, um, you'll see this screen. This is the actual um, emulator itself, or Gany Motion itself. Now, you can simulate so many different things outside of it. You can start to mess with the charging level um, and whether or not it's charging or discharging. Um, GPS is amazing on it. You actually can just go to a map and you can type in uh, you know, a particular location. It'll find it and then it'll have the latitude and longitude. You can change the accuracy. All the things that you might want to do to test your device outside, you can just mess with the settings directly. On top of that, you can also connect the camera uh, to your webcam on your laptop, uh, which helps you have to, when you're trying to troubleshoot things that have to do with you know, camera applications, it's much easier to just quickly go through that experience rather than having to wait to deploy to a device and then move it where you want it to look. So anyway, uh, if you're somebody who's just raring to get started, go ahead and use the emulator uh, or a device if you have one. Um, or if you're just having some uh, issues getting set up, um, just go ahead and, and go for it. But uh, if you're willing to go through setting up VirtualBox and creating an account with Motion, I highly recommend it. It's what we're going to be using in the course, and it's one of my favorite tools that I use for Android development.